Hello everyone, Mike Money Gamer here, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Last time we were about to talk to this lady here. Oh, um, good morning to you. If you're looking for my husband, he took his sword and left early this morning. But I must ask, Mike, you have not seen a cradle come floating by here, have you? It's a baby's cradle made of finely woven tree bark. Oh, such a misfortune. How far could it have drifted, I wonder? If you look in her hand, she actually has something that looks like a cradle already, so it's kind of funny that she's asking for one. And, yeah, for a video game character, she's kind of cute, I must admit. For a pregnant lady as well. But anyway. Though most men would agree that women who are pregnant do have this, like, certain appeal to them that they just look adorable. I don't know. I think when my, uh, cousin was pregnant, she just kind of glowed of happiness and all that, so I think that's the reason why they say that. Anyway, you need a hawk to get the cradle, because it's actually over here. See that monkey that's jumping down over there in the distance? Well, try to carefully aim this to it and have that hawk go get him. And the monkey's like, why'd you steal my cradle? I enjoyed that thing. <coughs> now, you don't want to fall into the water while carrying it. So, don't let that happen. And now when you bring it back, she's like, Oh, Mike, that cradle! Did you go to the trouble of finding it for me? My thanks to you. Oh, that reminds me. There's something I'm supposed to give to you. Do you think you could carry that cradle and come with me back to my house? Now, she's going to start walking very slowly to her house. Don't worry. If you just rush up there, she'll meet you eventually. <laughs> I never knew this before. I thought you had to actually follow her. But anyway, she's like, my thanks to you, Mike. Yes, yes, I had nearly forgotten. Now just to give you this. Alright, here you go. You got a fishing rod. Simple fishing rod with a bobber. Set it to Y or X on the item screen to use it. Face the water and use it. To cast, press and hold to pull the line when, in when you get a bite. You can catch fish without bait, but you'll catch a larger variety of fish with bait. It's a little unpolished. My son Colin made this under the instruction of his father. You can use it if you like. And then she sits down. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. Anyway, if you destroy these pumpkins, you get a ruby each time. But really, if you do that, it's going to take you forever to find the amount of rubies you need to find. So, one way to get a little bit more rubies is to, um, there's some, there's a way to get up there, and that's where you want to go. Yeah, right here. Come on. There you go. I knew you could do it, Link. <laughs> if you roll into this tree, that ruby falls out. But if you destroy these pumpkins here, one will give you a green ruby. Oh, come on. The other one will give you a blue ruby. I think if you roll into this tree, you get something too for your trouble. Yep, you get another green ruby. Anyway, there's some other areas you can get rubies. I think there's some under this bridge here, too. Yep, there's a green one. Um, let's see, where else can you get some rubies? Maybe you got some over here, too. It's not required that you come over here to get those, but you can. Nothing over here, so yeah. That's basically all the rubies you need to worry about finding them. It's either that or 50, I can't remember exactly. 
Anyway, though, what you want to do is you want to oh, equip your new fishing rod. And after you do that, you want to go over to where the kitty cat was. See, here he is. And if you come near him, he runs off, see? But don't worry. Pull your fishing rod out. Uh, and cast it with Y. Wait till you get a bite. And that's whenever the bobber goes all over the water like that. Fish on! Just hold back until the fish is fully brought in. Ta-da! You caught a green gill. These small fries are everywhere. First start to check the fish you've caught on the collection screen. Anyway, catch one more fish. Oop. <laughs> if you mess up, just cast it again. Don't worry. Damn it. You're looking like a noob here, Mike. Cut it out. <laughs> this isn't fly fishing, you know. Well, it kind of is, actually. <laughs> gotcha, you little piece of crap. <laughs> you caught a green gill again. You can catch these whenever you want, so let this one go. But when you try to let go, the fish steals it! Son of a... That's what Link's face look like. It's kind of funny. But anyway, the fish runs all the way home with it. And not the fish. The cat runs all the way home with the fish. And that little jingle plays. Yay! Put your stupid rod away. Anyway, after you do that... Go ahead and head to where the uh, cat went. Yeah, bash your head on that door. Actually, if you look, the kitty door actually moved when you did that. It's kind of a little added thing. Anyway, come in here. Oh my, Mike, come in. Oh, you simply must hear this. My little kitty cat is so amazing. Today he caught a fish all by his little self. No, he didn't. How do you think he caught it? Maybe he's a genius. Oh, just look. Isn't he so cute the way he laughs up that milk? Say, man, dear, why don't you have some too? I'm in a good mood, so I'm it's on the house today. You got milk in a bottle? This bottle's half empty. Or, in other people's way, half full. Ba -ba Set it to and use it with Y or X to replenish three hearts. Store things in empty bottle by pressing Y or X to swing it. Oh, don't worry, you don't have to return the empty bottle, my dear. You can reuse it, you know, put something else in it. Recycling is a very important thing, my dear. I'm sure you'd never do anything of the sort, but kids these days toss things out like the whole world was disposable. It's criminal. So, what do you need, my dear? Is there something you want today? If you're interested, take a look. Okay, slingshot and 50 pellets, 30 rubies. I got this in for the kids. It's just a toy, but it's doing something awful when you get hit by it. How would she know? Anyway, buy this little bad boy. What are you doing buying a slingshot, you naughty thing? You're too old for toys. Will you at least let the kids play with it? Oh, I should tell you, if you happen to run out of pellets, you can also use pumpkin seeds. You got a slingshot. Children love this item. You can hold up to 50 pellets. Set it to Y or X on the item screen to use it. Aim with the control stick and press the button to fire. Target with L for accuracy. And that's all we need from here. See you again soon. Alright, now we got our first weapon that's for long distances. Now, real quick, I'm just going to show you something. Um, you won't need your milk, so go ahead and uh, gulp that bad boy down. <laughs> Trust me, it's not necessary that you have it. <clears throat> then let's put our um, slingshot on the X button and the empty bottle on the Y button. I think you can also equip something on Z, can't you? No, you can't. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, if the Z, uh, if like the thing was back, you could shoot it from here by doing that. 
but I forgot that it's still down. I think you can still go up to it and collect some stuff out of it, though. Even if it's on the ground for so long. Yep. You caught bee larvae in your bottle? Fish love them, and they're also edible and full of nutrients. Ew. To bait a rod, set your rod and the larva to Y and X and use the larva. Use them when the rod is not equipped to eat them and replenish a quarter heart for the la poor larva. <coughs> anyway, yeah. That's what I think about that. That just sounds freaking disgusting. <laughs> anyway, let's stop being stupid and um, equip our uh, fishing rod. And let's try out this uh, bait here in town. See if there's reason to this whole bait thing. I think I'm actually going the wrong way. I keep going this way thinking that I'm going somewhere different. But we want to go back to where we were fishing before, if you remember right. Anyway, throw it into the water. Let's see what we get. Oh. You want to be careful because you don't want to accidentally get your bait eaten. Got a fish. Yeah, just a boring green gal. But yeah, basically I'm just showing you that if you do fish with bait, it is a little bit easier to get fish. But green gill are a bad example because, you know, they um, will uh, be picked up by anything. Anyway, stop pressing start, Michael, and instead do that. Okay, so now that we've got the slingshot, let's go talk to the kids again. Yeah, no, you can't give the bee larvae to the guy now that you've collected them. Hey! Aw, oh, just in time, Mike. I just delivered something to your room. Oh, I see you got the fishing rod. Colin would be pleased, and it works better than you would think. Right? Well, have a good one. <laughs> oh, you got it. I hope you like it. Aren't you off of, off of work today, Mike? Really? Why are you saying it like that? Anyway, talk to the kids and then... Mike has a slingshot! Whoa! Wow, you had enough money to buy it, Mike? <clears throat> now there's all these targets everywhere. Preparations complete. Okay, wow, this is great. Let's see how powerful then that slingshot is. Hit the targets and those scarecrows. I can't believe you two brats are so obsessed about this. It just shows what little boys you both still are. Those two idiots will never shut up about it, so I guess you'll just have to show them, Mike. Hmm, okay, anyway. Whoa, you hit it, you hit it! I looked at the manual in the store, and it said that it's easier to hit nearby targets if you press L while you're aiming. I thought you weren't interested, Beth. Just like that. That's basically what she's talking about. Oops. Whoa, amazing, Mike. Oh, yeah, thanks, Mike. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway. After that. Gee, you really are amazing, Mike. By the way, Mike, were you expecting Colin's dad to bring something by here? Because he did. Oh, yeah, that's right. What was that, anyway? I command you to tell us. Well, I haven't grabbed it yet. What the hell is that thing? Um. Die, bitch. <laughs> Sometimes he'll drop rubies, that's why I stop for a second. But well, not always. Anyway, let's go inside our house and see what we got. 
Let's see what you got. <laughs> oh, you got the wooden sword. Russell returned it after honing it for you. It's easy to use. Just press B. Or, if you're playing the Wii version, swing the Wii remote. But you can't use it inside, so we can't show it off here. <laughs> No, I knew I could do it in this game. Oops, sorry. Now I can't do it. <laughs> but you can also hold B. And that works too. Damn. Oh well. I did it once, that's all that matters. Oh my, isn't that a wooden sword, Mike? Whoa, she's right. Hey, can I see it for a sec? Seriously, lately these monkeys have been coming out of the woods and playing trick shots. We want to get them good. Come on, teach us how to use a sword. Okay, sure. Yes! <laughs> now, he would have said this if you went and got the sword first. Alright, first up, we want to see that move. This slice. Uh, you just swing with B, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, horizontal slice. Was that it? Was that it? I think I've seen you do a vertical slice too before too. You know, by pressing B while L targeting. All right, next. Ooh, ooh, I want to see that other move, Mike. Yeah, the one where you just tilt while L targeting and press B to flex your muscles and stab. Oh, please, the stab. Oh, Mike, just amazing. Since you're at it, how about you show us that other move? You know that little twirly thing you do. I love that. What do you call it? A spin attack? Like it's hard to briefly hold B and release it. Wow, thanks, Mike. I'm sorry you had to waste your time with these little brats, when I mean, you must be tired from doing all the important stuff you do. Hey, wait! You gotta show us the jump attack before you go. You know, the one where you go, hi -ya! and leap through the air? You mean the one where you just hold L and press A? Oh yeah, real tough. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, they really like that move. Thanks, Mike. So, uh, I think I get it. Kinda. Hmm, maybe not. So this means that any time one of those naughty monkeys show up... Ah! What? Yeah, uh, hello. <laughs> Come here, you! And the kids chase after it. Hey! See ya! Well, it works, but only like once. Hey, hey. See ya. There we go. Hey. 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 Oh, I think it's harder to do it in this game than it is in other games. Really, the spin attack is only useful in certain instances. I don't really use it that much through the game. Anyway, you come over here and Beth's sitting here and she's like, Talon and Mallow went chasing like crazy people after that monkey. I can't keep up with those two. <laughs> That's okay. I'll chase after them. They went that way. The rest is up to you, Mike. Well, if you say so. Anyway, the gate's open, which is weird. Um, normally it would not be open, so it's kind of cool to see it open like this and getting across this bridge, which... Cool thing, if you try to attack the ropes, it actually knocks your sword back. <laughs> it's like those ropes are made of steel! <laughs> Farron Woods. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you say it, if it's Farron. I'm not really certain. Anyway, now we have a sword, we can actually cut through grass. And if you're running while you cut, you do this. If you hold B, he holds the sword off to his side, and then stops moving after a while to charge the sword up. Just a funny little fact. Now, I will admit, that's the one thing I don't like about the GameCube version, is to ever use a spin attack, you do have to um, actually hold down the B button. 
So it kind of sucks, but at the same time, you know, it's not really that bad. Anyway, you notice that there's a closed gate here, which is weird. So what you have to do is you have to call your horse. Ouch, I hurt. I just scratched my chin. <laughs> what up, horse? I'm new to uh, Twilight Princess. You can use your sword while you're on your horse. Just a fun little fact. Anyway, stop your horse here. And this is actually kind of confusing to me. Watching the uh, Wii version, normally you'd go this way to get to where you need to go. But in this version, you have to go this way. <laughs> fun fact. Anyway, you come over here, and there's this weird guy with like a nest in his hair. And he's like, whoa, an Ordon Ordonian. Hey, guy. Listen, I'm not sure you should be wandering around the woods without a lantern. Just because it's daylight doesn't mean it's safe. There are a ton of caves and dank spots around here that get pretty dark even in the middle of the day. Here, go on, guy. Take this. You got the lantern. This is a must for lighting dark places. Set it to Y or X on the item screen to use it. Use it once the light... It and press A while staying still to put it out. Use it while lit to set things on fire. You won't be able to use it without oil, so make sure to refill it. See, I sell lantern oil here. I'm trying to drum up sales by giving away free lanterns. It's a business tactic, guy. See, as long as you got oil to fuel your lantern, you can light that, light your way and set fire to stuff. They're the best. Come on, guy. Try setting a fire under that big pot. Ah, uh, damn it, Mike. You did it again. Now, you don't have to do this, but... If you do, you get this dialogue. That's right, see, it's on fire, guy. Yeah, you keep using that energy anytime you feel the need, and if it runs out of oil, you come see me to get it refilled. Quickly put it away. Now, if you want, god damn it, um, you can actually get rid of your bee larva, because we're not going to need it anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, so he doesn't like it either. And you can scoop this uh, crap that's under here out of here. And if you do, you get nasty soup in the bottle. This is Cora's special recipe. Set it and use it to eye. The only way to find out what it tastes like is to drink it. You hungry, guy? If you want some soup, feel free to have as much as you like. I don't know if you'll like it, so don't blame me if you get sick, okay, guy? Well, let's see what it does, shall we? hurt us, so you make us lose a heart. Yeah, so you don't want to eat his soup, as you can see. Um, the reason why I did that is because I had to find out what it does, because I didn't even know you could do that until I watched uh, Try and Morning's uh, video of this. I was like, no way, you can actually get something out of that thing there. And so I had to find out what it was. Also, you can light this right here if you want to. No real point, it's just something you can do. Anyway, there should be some hearts around here somewhere. There we go. Anyway, if you try going up here, as you can see, it's locked. And there's no way to go that way. Yeah. But that's not important, because we don't have any reason to go this way. Now that soup, I think that it can also... It's kind of like... Um, what's another... Oh, it's kind of like eating a Poe, you know? In uh, Ocarina of Time, where if you did that, sometimes it would heal you, sometimes it would hurt you, and sometimes it would pretty much ultimately kill you. Yeah, it's kind of like that, so... That's why you should not eat the soup. <laughs> oh, no. Throw him and you get seeds. Use them with your slingshot. Which, speaking of the slingshot, we might want that, so let's go ahead and get it. Anyway, you find the sword here. You found a play wooden sword. It's Talos. Hmm. 
That's okay, I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> anyway, we soon find ourselves in a dark cave. However, for me, it's not, because I have my brightness up to so high that it's not even that dark in here. <laughs> Though, for you, it might actually be kind of dark. But, you're going to have to find out what's in this cave in the next episode, because we've reached our time limit. So, I hope you're waiting, because I know I'm going to make you wait. <laughs> nah, just kidding. It'll be in the next episode. Don't worry.